Okay, so hello everyone. I'm Rafael from Nobox Project, and today we're gonna see a Java challenge about deceptions. So I'm just gonna share my screen with you. Okay, so that's the challenge. Uh, we have three int variables, Kratos, Zeus, and odds. And uh, we are invoking a method here um, and realize that in the moment of the invocation, we are also assigning a value to the variable. And on this method, we are throwing uh, an error. And here, yeah, is the method, the first method that we are invoking. So I'm gonna give you some time and then feel free to reach out with the answer when you have it. Okay, so that's it. Okay, then guys, so are you ready to see the answer? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah. finally. <laughs> Let's see then. Let's run this program. Whoa! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> uh <-huh. Woo> <laughs> you got yeah, it? Right? Oh, that's an error. Yeah. Not an exception. Yeah. Very tricky. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, um, so I'm just going to explain here why uh, the answer is what it is. So here on this method, we are assigning one. But on this method, we are throwing what? An error. So remember that we have three trees of the exception. So there is exceptions and there is runtime exception and also error. So basically exceptions that are expected from the system. So they are also called as checked exceptions. And runtime exceptions are exceptions that can be avoided by code. So you should never, in theory, catch a runtime exception because you can avoid it with code. An error are uh, the, the kind of errors, let's not call like exception because it's basically an error that is very, very serious. Like Stack Overflow error is like when the memory heap is really, really high and then uh, this error is thrown. It's like this error is thrown by usually the JVM. So, I mean, the pro the programmer could throw it like we did here, but uh, it will usually be thrown by the JVM. So when that happens, it's really serious. So you should never handle an error. So what happens here is that when we throw an error, it will never be caught by this catch because it will be only able to catch uh, exceptions that, that are um, child from exception. And on this case, it's not. I can show you here. So Stack Overflow error extends virtual machine error and virtual machine error extends error and then extends trouble. Mm. It has nothing to do with exception. So that is expected. Okay. So um, this catch will never catch it. I can uh, debug to you quickly. Just show you the process here. -na -na. Yeah. Then you see that it's not even caught here, but we can also do another test. We can throw an exception here. And then, of course, it will be caught here. And then we can run it. And then if we were throwing an exception, Sebastian would be right. So <laughs> yeah, that's... yeah, you would be right if it was an you... exception, Sebastian. <laughs> you, you, okay, so... Oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah so here um, we assign one. Here we assign two. I mean, because if we are invoking this method, this variable will be assigned, but uh, as as long as we are throwing an exception at the moment at, of uh, that this method is invoked, uh, this line of code will never be reached. So that makes sense that it's zero here. Okay. So that's pretty much it, guys. Do you have any questions about this challenge? Man, that was a trick inside a trick. Yeah. You you're <laughs> David Copperfield of Java challenge, like, illusion, <laughs> like that ability to make us focus on one part of the code where exactly. like, the real thing is at the, at the other side. Yeah. It was way simpler than, you know, trying to guess the other order of the uh, assignment. <laughs> and, and it's funny because I think if you, if you read the, the, the exception or the error, when you explain it, would be something that will trick, uh, get our minds to, to focus on error, but you just show a little, uh, uh, just a little of the code. And after seeing all the other questions, I was doubting, hey man, I, I think I'm terribly wrong. Oh, I think <laughs> I need to change it. Okay, oh, okay, let's, let's figure out if, uh, if it's something different. 
but it's very tricky because you you put trolls exception so it's very clear that we are expecting a, an exception that is what almost caught me to change my answer because yeah. it's, oh it's exception man i think I'm, yeah okay. i need to learn more <laughs> and that was that was on purpose actually <laughs> yeah it's yeah. perfect man you it was really doubting seeing all this this yeah. other different uh answers I, I almost came to the answer from sebastian uh but okay let's let's get embarrassed and as always yeah the perfect illusion <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> okay uh so thanks guys uh so i'm gonna just show you uh, an article yeah guys so if you want to go deeper into exceptions uh there is an article here you know bugsproject.com and then you can check here the all the exception tree since trouble then there is exception error runtime exception then you, you can go deeper um into those concepts here and then uh basically on this article um i uh, talk about uh 11 mistakes uh, that Java developers make when using exceptions. So there are 11 mistakes here that you can take a look in. I can put this link in the video as well. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, okay, so thank you everyone for um, watching this Java Challenger. So today we explored uh, a bit more about exceptions, error and runtime exception. And it's important to know when to use checked exceptions or error or runtime exception. That makes a huge difference in your code. And remember, when you use exceptions, put a clear log. That way, it's easy, it's very easy to developers find out what's happening. So that's the message I leave to you on this Java Challenger. And uh, if you want to know more, you go to numbexpert.com and uh, you read all the contents there and you can uh, take uh, the Java Dev Gene quizzes as well. Uh, I've, I, uh, I've been launching uh, new quizzes every week. And uh, yeah, please give a like and subscribe to the channel because it will help me out to create more content for you. And yeah, it will be better for everyone. So that's it, guys. See you next time.